walking. I wish I could sing. I can't. So <laughs> check these out. Look at these boots. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, these boots. I love these boots. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about these boots, obviously, and a couple of mascaras that I finished and what are my thoughts on them. You know, it takes me a long time to finish mascaras. I probably shouldn't do it, but I tend to, if they get too dry too quick, I tend to put in a little bit, a tiny bit of castor oil in them so that they stay really nice and wet. Is that the right word for it? But anyways, I finally have finished up some mascara. Three of them, to be exact. And these are the three that I have finished up. I finished up my Essence Lash Princess, which has been a longtime favorite of mine. I finished up the It Superhero Lash Blowout. I went through this pretty quick. I will also tell you that I bought this at Ulta. I, I can't remember now. I think sometime in the fall. I know mascara shouldn't last a whole long time, but this dried out very quickly. And then the other one is the Double Decker Lash by Butter London. So these are the three that I totally finished and trashing. The only one that I will rebuy, and I haven't rebought it because I have a backup, is my Lash Princess in purple. I still really like this. This is a great everyday, everyday mascara. The It Cosmetics, I won't repurchase this. I like the It Superhero better than this Lash Blowout, truthfully. And they're both the same price. And last time I bought the It Superhero, I bought it off that QVC special that they always have, which is an amazing special. I really like that. And the Butter London, I think I got this in a uh, BoxyCharm when I was getting BoxyCharm. I, I gave up my BoxyCharm. I don't know how you guys feel about subscription services like BoxyCharm, but towards the tail end of my BoxyCharm relationship, I was wasting money. It was a, just a big waste of money for me because I never got any colors that worked for me. Their eyeshadow palettes, I gave every every eyeshadow palette away, just about every eyeshadow palette. They were geared towards much younger ladies, and I have nothing against that. I'm just saying BoxyCharm didn't work for me, but there's some products in there that I did keep using to try to finish it up. This was one of them, and it isn't anything that I would rave about whatsoever. So these are gone. These are history. These are going in the trash. And the other thing that I finished and I have a backup is the volume booster. And this is the Essence Primer. I really like this. I also have a Lancome Primer that I got in the Christmas box set, which I have used the Lancome pr the primer before, the lash primer before and really, really liked it. But I haven't opened it up because I have two of these sitting in a backup. These are so cheap. So I'm going to trash this and probably open up the Lancome one and leave the other two in backup. The mascaras that I am wearing and what I have been wearing is my Lancome. This is the Hypnose Drama. This I got in the Christmas box you know gift the trunk case I and this is one of the reasons why I was really gung-ho about the trunk case because even though I didn't like some of the, I don't I'm really not a fan of the skincare that was in there but I can gift that I am a fan of this and I bought the the foundation so there was a number of things in that trunk case that I got from Lancome that I really liked one of them is this mascara this mascara is really awesome it's expensive though, you know, it's expensive. And I I probably in general won't buy this when this goes, when this is finished. I won't buy it again until there's a special or on sale or something like that. But I'll tell you, if you can get your hands on it and you have a good sale price, maybe a Macy's coupon, all half the time the coupon doesn't work in cosmetics, well, sometimes it does, but you know what I mean. If you can find this somewhere and you want to try it, try it. It is a beautiful beautiful mascara beautiful and then the other one that i have i'm still using is the dr lily fan this was sent to me in pr and uh, to be honest with you this is a probiotic mascara i think this is a very nice mascara but it's a very small wand 
and I've just been using it on my lower lashes. I haven't used it on my upper lashes at all. So these are the two mascaras that that I'm still wearing. And um, and the I'm going to open up the Lancome primer because I really like that. But the other mascaras are done. They're history. They're over with. Thank goodness. So I opened up this video showing you these boots. So this boot company had reached out to me a couple of times and they had said, oh, you, would you check out our boots? We'd like to send you a pair. We think you'd like them and all this stuff. I had to put my glasses on. So anyways, they reached out to me. This is a grass, grass skate, G-R-A-C-O-S-Y. I'm going to link them because I know I'll put you the name for sure. But they kept reaching out to me and said, check out our boots, check out our booties, check out our slippers, our flip-flops, our shoes. They have a number of different products on their website. So finally I said, okay. And I checked them out and I looked at them and I said, you know what, I'm never going to be able to wear these. I'm never going to be able to wear a pair of boots like this or shoes like this. They're just like the colors were just like so so crazy you know I mean so crazy but then I said hmm why not you know so I ordered they have and this is a size 10 and let me tell you these are these are handmade these are leather handmade and they're even lined with flannel lining on the inside of these boots they're amazing flannel lining on the inside of the boots is that not crazy and the heel is not too bad and they're actually pretty comfortable they're actually pretty comfortable so I haven't worn them for six hours on my feet teaching so I can't tell you that but the bottom part here by the heel is hard and then it's softer here the zipper is a little stiff but that's okay I do have a discount code if you're interested in something like this I will tell you the quality totally surprised me I mean totally surprised me so I'm gonna bring these on my next business trip to Nashville now granted I'm not gonna wear them all day at a convention I'm gonna try to break them in slowly you know how it is when you have new shoes you want to break them in slowly so I think I've had these on only in the house so far and 30 minutes 30 minutes here 30 minutes there that's how I break in new shoes I haven't worn them to work yet I think these would be perfect perfect with a pair of ankle jeans so, which I don't wear to work. But anyways, I wanted to show you that because that was sent to me and I thought I thought it was like really, really, really cute. And I couldn't believe I was so resistant of this. I was like thinking, ah, no one's gonna laugh at me wearing these boots. But I showed a couple of pictures of them on my Facebook page and on Instagram and I have like people that follow me from work and they'll go, oh, wear those boots. We wanted to see them. How can you not wear those boots? He's cracked up. I also, on my Facebook page, had posted this picture of me with a, um, uh, a short dark wig on. <laughs> and I had a ton of comments of people. Some people saying, oh, we love that brown hair. And other people going, oh, not so much, though, but you look beautiful anyway. <laughs> I was just fooling people. I was like saying, how do you like my new do? So anyways, another thing that I got this week that I was like so super thrilled about. I received this. This is the Foria Luna 2, and this is the combination skin one, and I received this via the Octolead Network, complimentary in exchange for a review. I have the Luna Mini, and I this is about two years old, and in the course of time, I have bought a couple of dupes of this. In the two years I've owned this, let me tell you, I've had to charge it three times in two years. It is still running. I use it every day. I love this. I've bought some dupes that I paid like maybe $20 or something like that. Look identical. And I had to charge them a whole lot. But none of those dupes are still working today. None of them. This is still going strong. So this was more money than the dupes. But it was money well spent because limited charge time it, it holds a charge like you wouldn't believe and it it's so it works so well so when i saw this on the octoly network i said oh yes i'm gonna see if they approve me for this so this is the luna 2 they do have a luna 3 which of course when i saw the luna 3 i said to them oh would you send me that and they said nah you got the luna 2 oh well i'm a small influencer 
but this is really super super it's a little bit bigger obviously than this all right because this is the full size and i'm telling you i am so excited about this so this is going to go in the camper or traveling and this is going to be the one that's going to stay at home do you guys have you used the, the the i think these are really nice have you used this i know a lot of people like the brushes and all that but i really don't i think that the foreo these are so they stay because it's the silicone you can clean them so nicely and i think i just think they're a lot more sanitized than the brushes but i really like this so i'm looking forward to a long-term relationship with this awesome product i'll let you know overall how it compares to this but i expect this to be as nice probably a heck of a lot better i don't know because it's newer and it is certainly larger than the small one that I have. So I think super excited about this. So anyways, that's what I wanted to share with you. And also, uh, on my eyes, a number of you have asked me questions about the, am I still using the Blink Eyelash Serum? And yes, 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 I am using the Blink Eyelash Serum. I'm at three times a week and come next month, come February, I'm going to go off it for a month. I don't know yet what I'm going to use in that month, that month time frame, but last year, Carol from the old Carol show and I went, went and tried a different eyelash serum for a month and we both did not like it the one that we tried. I went right back to blank. But I think that it's good to give it a rest. And that's what I want to do. I want to rest it for a month or so. Because I do think that's a really good thing. And it's the same thing with your skincare. I mean, I use a lot of the same products. But I believe in switching things up. I believe in trying to keep my skin guessing. So I do switch things up. Anyways, that's all I really wanted to share with you today. Tell you about the mascaras. This was a wicked disappointment. <laughs> Tell you about this because this is awesome. And these amazing funky boots. But on my head is the wig that was sent to me. Complimentary from Wig Studio One. This is Belle Tress. And this is Italian Roast. This is a heat friendly fiber. And I really like this. The color of this is Sugar Cookie with Hazelnut. And I think this is just a really cool casual look. I really like this a lot. So anyways, guys, until next time, have a good one.